Safety is one of the most important reasons to consider very seriously molten salt reactors. And this is because of the clever implementation that was demonstrated in the molten salt reactor experiment, a small port in the bottom of the reactor that was kept plugged. And to keep the port plugged, they had a blower that would blow cool gas over it. So there was a little plug of frozen salt there. Well, if the power went out, the blower turned off and the heat would melt the frozen plug. And guess what? Everything would drain out of the reactor into this drain tank. And the difference between the drain tank and the reactor vessel was the reactor vessel was not meant to lose any thermal energy. The only place you wanted to lose thermal energy was to give it up in the primary heat exchanger. The drain tank, on the other hand, is designed to maximize the rejection of thermal energy to the environment. And I'm a mechanical engineer, so all we ever talked about in school was how to you know, add heat to things and take heat out of things. And one of the hard things about designing a nuclear reactor is to design it to not lose any heat while you're running it because you don't want all that heat to go over to the steam turbine. You don't want to lose a bunch of heat in normal operation, but then to turn around and try to keep it cool if something goes wrong. So there are two conflicting things. The great thing about uh, liquid fluoride reactors is you can design them completely separately. You can say, here's my reactor and it's designed to make heat, and here's my drain tank, and it's designed to cool in all situations.